Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode is going to be about looking at what I've been doing while I've been doing these big builds. You know, I did the Ocean Monuments, pretty big build, and I did the, um, oh, what's it called, the pump jack and the refinery and those big machines from immersive engineering. So I've been doing some bits around, around the base, tidying up a bit, so let's go and have a look at those first of all. Around this area, what I've been doing is I've been removing most of the um, most of the forestry machines, as you can see. There's not much in the way of forestry around here. Let's just take this out of it. Very useful thing. <laughs> Don't want to be without that as it happens, otherwise we might die. So every, all of those machines have disappeared from around about here. Um, I've, I've updated the, the chimneys for this. <laughs> I thought of a better way of doing it. So what's on the, underneath here? I've got a pump. And then I've got some vents coming out here, and this is where the, the smoke, the fumes are coming out, or the pollution is coming out of here, which is fine. So around this area, you usually get a lot of grass growing, and the odd occasional, occasional pods fill, but I'm not quite sure why that is. Here we've got the lubricator attached to the, um, to the to the crusher, which I think we should looked at before, and that's powered up. Here we can see the magnetic graph stuff working. <laughs> as as rather neat. This actually is working quite nicely. And if you look in here, you've actually got rotating gears as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Does that close when I leave it? No, it doesn't have to right click it to close it again. And I've, at the moment, I've got the solar, the multi solar, the um, solar tower running, and it's actually not keep it's using all the power up, which is great. It means it's not going to blow up and turn into a pile of lava. So over here, I've been growing a few more trees. Uh, what have I got? Actually, I want to delete. I removed all of the forestry stuff because because the greenhouse has actually been deprecated. It tells you in here it's been deprecated. Put it into a crafting block to get some resources back. So I'll do some of that. I will catch you what we get back. See, this one is completely gone. I'll do that in my own time, but I'll have a look at those before. Uh, but trees are growing quite nicely here, as you can see. Some of them are, are new ones, like... There's supposed to be where has it gone to now? Oh this one, yes, this is a new one. Cucobola is actually the assist for the height it's the tallest, and it certainly is quite tall, isn't it? About that one. And then I've got a desert a desert Arcadia here, which is this one. Uh I think it's no, this one. Desert Arcadia wood. So that's another a new tree I haven't had before. So I'm basically growing these. Put some bees underneath these, and the ones I'm using are the other valley um, bees because they have they will work in the, when it's covered night and day. So they're working all the time, which is great. Um, have I done something over here? No, I haven't. But we have. Oh, we haven't looked at the forestry stuff yet. That's why I came over here in the first place. So I moved all the forestry stuff down here because i removed the greenhouse i had a space down here so i came and put it all up as you can see so all of the machines are all getting powered from actually i've set up a, a transformer here so out of this out of this lot here we've got what four five i think five um that's going to give me quite a lot of power i worked it out it's 42 per one of these no i've actually got six so it's 240 RF coming out of the slot. So I need to use, and it's not being used. This doesn't use up very much power at all, as you can see. In fact, what I've got here at the moment is I've got an, a managed crop farm, but an automatic farm. And what it's doing is it was, it was doing um, industrial hemp, as you can see. So what I will turn it off because I don't need that in the moment. The trouble with the automatic farm, as you can see, this is an automatic managed crop farm. You want the manual ones because they keep throwing out the dirt. The dirt keeps coming out and gets put back in again. And ask me why it doesn't need to take the dirt out. So that's that. And then here I've got all those machines, as I said. So the power's coming along here as medium voltage, coming into this MV capacitor so it's stored up. So we've got one, one million IF and they were basically RF. It's one to one. Then we're transforming that down to low voltage. Here like this and it's coming into it. so it's going to all of these machines here so we've got this squeezer and carpenter doing um, honey so that's low oh, seed oil that's for the casings this here is a moist a moistener it's not doing too much at the moment but he wants water 
So I put a pump here with some water in it. And beside that I put a carpenter. So in this carpenter I've got water and I make things like whatever I need to make out of this one. And then we've got, uh, this must be the honey one, squeezer, I guess is the honey one. There's nothing in it at the moment because I set all these, these up. And then we've got the thermionic fabricator, which is connected to this switch here, the breaker switch. So it's not on all the time because it uses power. It doesn't really matter. I've got rather a lot of power. I could leave that on all the time, couldn't I? So that's that little room. It's quite, I'm quite pleased with that. It's surprisingly compact considering what I've got in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back over to the, um, into the nether. And we shall, I shall see you there. Well, nothing's really changed in the nether, except for one thing. We have an improvement on bees. Now we have demonic bees, and we're actually getting glowstone dust. So I, would, I haven't analysed these three yet. What I'm looking for here is basically performance thing, I think. I think. So let's have a look. What have we got to? Demonic, ignoble stop. So it's got a long life, normal, and so everything's actually, is actually um, blue, except for, the, except for the number of bees. So that's actually pretty good. So let's have a look at this one. So this one's aggressive and the other one was flammable and this one is aggressive flammable so i'm going to try to see if i can get the flammable property as <laughs> you you might have been able to hear there was some some pigment getting a bit squidged there and these are basically diurnal and nocturnal so you can r have these running out outside the simmering cone i have got absolutely stacks of simmering cone so let's put those into here in this one here, in this in this one here we've got fiendish uh, the fiendish bee uh, queen and a uh, drone and they're getting producing what they're producing is ash as well as simmering cone so i'm getting simmering cone i, I emptied some of it out took it out took it back to the base of such a lot of it so that's that one of course we, we, have, we have to make sure we've got our suit on when we're doing that because otherwise that's going to happen to us <laughs> like that probably dropped a yep some rotting flesh and maybe a, a, a nugget of gold. He didn't drop a nugget of gold in that case. Maybe he did actually, but well, didn't go close enough. So next we're going to go over to the um, the jungle base where I built those big machines from Immersive Engineering. And I've also been setting up a farm, or actually I've been setting up two farms. So I'll have a look at those. One of the farms I was is going to do fruit because we need two components for biodiesel, fruit and seeds. And the other one is doing um, industrial hemp, as you saw. Oh, it's night time. That's actually quite bad. We'll have to go inside quickly. Because there are a lot of mobs around here. Actually, a lot of mobs around here. And the reason there are a lot of mobs around here is there's a great big cave. Um, a sort of maze of caves underneath this ba base. Let me just get this on here. There you go. As you can see, there's well, normally one or two, is it? Oh, the creeper over there will get him as well. I can just check the mini map for him, actually. Are there any more about? No, I don't think so. So basically, they've got these two machines set up. Two machines. These two fa uh, factory set up, farm set up here. So this one is doing industrial hemp. And it's on fer it's a fertile soil, so it should grow faster. These are Palms Harvest Craft Apple Trees. Um, I'm not sure how these are doing. I'm hoping that they'll fairly tall up with apple trees. But at the moment, and in the middle here, I've got the skeleton over there. I'll get him as well. Yeah, good. <laughs> Any more? There seem to be some over there, but I think they're too. F they're generally underground. So let's have a look at this. I've set it up here. Oh, what I've actually done. So what I've got is one, just one thermo. Um, uh, thermoelectric generator with uh, uranium and block, um, packed ice that's generating 42 RF that's going into this LV capacitor here. and that's going up and then it's getting just put out to the two farms in here like that so one's going to a pump here and the other side is going to uh, con well basically the gearbox isn't it and that's producing stuff and as you can see it's producing a reasonable amount of stuff so I need to get rid of that I'm not sure about the apples yet I'm hoping that the apples will also be collected oh yes they are good so we're getting a lot more um 
the seeds and apples but I'm I think the apples are still growing so they're, they're going to take a while before they get up to speed so to speak while i was testing i was making sure we got some wood <laughs> and i've got plenty of wood i need to remove some of the stuff i've got in here and just go and plant the the rest of these seeds there's just a little bit left that hasn't been planted up but fertile soil is working really well as you can see i was trying to do the the pam's harvest craft stuff on fertile soil from rustic but it didn't work so such a life. So this farm is now complete and it, the number of spaces you've got on this farm is actually two stacks and 40. So that's 168 positions where you can place place items. How do I know that? Because I basically did this, did this one over here. Uh, not that one. No, not in there either. This is all the stuff that you're basically getting. So I can take these industrial hemp seeds now and grow those so the the apples are growing nicely so they are working i tried this with rustic apples but they were they weren't they're were ripe but they weren't being harvested so i guess there's not compatible yet with the with the farm anyway so what we're going to do next over here is to um and i also tidy this area up a bit here put some steps onto that i usually come along here and get those but there's only two let's go and put some of these into the ref into the machines i haven't gotten any power set up yet but what i'm planning to do with the power we'll talk about that is i'm going to use oh, i actually have got a little bit of power here i was going to bring some pack ties with me to put the pack ties down where i've got these uh scaffolding here so i'm going to do the same thing i'm i've got two which will probably be enough to power these three machines and the power from these three machines is going to um, generate diesel to power this one so I've been doing a little bit of preparation in here, so ready for the for the next stage. I'm going to test it out before I actually show you, <laughs> make sure it works. And I've created a passageway down here uh, to have a look at the mobs. And the mobs are they're enormous. Let me just just change my armor a bit if I can, because of the number. Of, uh, where's it? What do I want? I want my helmet, don't I? Because down below here is it's just horrendous. The caves are enormous. I've never seen such a large set of caves ever as you can see uh, probably a bit awkward today that's a double that's a double drop down there let me just check i've got my uh, backpack with me some with some stuff in it i used to have to get rid of this lot while i'm thinking about it because we generally need some stuff for our cobblestone i haven't got any cobblestone with me we'll take some dirt instead i should be able to put the dirt down here like that and basically i'll be making my way down to this into this set of caves here and i still haven't lit it all up it's just enormous put that one down there like that and it goes on and on and on there's a, there's a zombie ping will sort him out quickly like that see this area is not lit up but you can see from it from the mini map have the mobs everywhere so i've got a lot of lighting up to do in this and it does take quite a long time to get all of this lit up as you can see and uh, it's quite a big area down there. let's just press f7 and see what we've not lit up it's small areas like that they're generally not such a problem um but there's complete areas i've not been to like that one over there anyway oh and the last thing before I forget, is this one the uh, engineering bag? I have built this engineer's engineer's toolbox. And what you can do with this, I didn't know this. You can right click it and you can shift right click it and it puts it down. And then you can basically access it like that. Perfect. Um, really useful tool. So there we have that. Uh, and I also decomposed while I was just thinking about things some of those garden uh, those bits and pieces from the greenhouse, and I got like two blazing electron tubes and some tin ingots which is actually not to be sniffed at this one yeah well doesn't give me anything that's not a surprise is it so to pick this up again you shift right click it i think and it drops it and then you can pick it up again so that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it very short one but we'll be doing more things next time uh as i don't know why the shadow just changed and on that tree so we're doing some what the next the next plan is to basically go and look at what we've done uh, get that diesel engine running so until then bye for now <laughs>